Hello and welcome to this, the 10th, yes, there you heard it right, the 10th Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonic. Uh, today we'll be looking at these chaps, the KGL Light Cavalry. I'm pretty sure you know the drill by now, so uh, I've primed these with a black undercoat. i um, done it by hand because the weather's a bit rubbish, so don't think I'll be doing much rattle can priming for a bit. Uh, white dry brush over the top, and then I'm using Games Workshop's Ungore Flesh give these guys their uh, bay coloured horses. Um, it's a bit glary at the moment colour wise but I will be toning that down with a wash. And I've gone with uh, Vallejo's dark Prussian blue for the jackets. Makes a change from doing red. Using Vallejo's London grey for the uh, trousers and the troopers blankets. And I forgot to mention doing the blanket rolls in uh, Dark Prussian Blue as well. Games Workshop Mournfang Brown for the uh, carbines. Obviously not for the officer because he's too important to carry his own weapon apparently. And the horse's hooves, so I really need to sort those out because it looks more Palomino than Bay. Okay, I've done a little prep work here. Um, just on like... Uh, the stripes on the trousers, the edge of the saddle cloths, collars and cuffs, and the helmet plume, because uh, they'll be going red. And red painted directly onto blue or black just doesn't seem to work, so uh, that's what I've done. And the only difference is the officer's saddle cloth will also be going, edge of that will be going red, so I've had to do that as well. So here's another blink and miss it section. Um, Vallejo's brown leather on the trouser turnbacks and the stirrup straps. So that's all the black done in uh, Games Workshop's Abaddon Black. So, mane and tail, all the horse tack, boots, stirrups, sword, a little bit on the rifle, shoulder bits, hat. And on the other side, the sabre tash and scabbard, and all the other bits. Although it's not showing up too well, I've used the uh, Games Workshop Celestra Grey on the actual saddle there. Games Workshop's Kislev Flesh, that's finally on. I'm leaving the officer's hands, I'm going to do those as the uh, white gloves. Okay, Games Workshop's Lead Belcher Silver for the sword, scabbard, stirrups. And a little bit of the uh, rifle mechanism there. So on an experimental level, I'm using uh, Games Workshop's technical gore grunter fur to try and uh, make the horses look a bit more bay and a lot less palomino. Might take a couple of coats, but we'll see how that pans out. So that's two coats of... Uh, Games Workshop's Gore Grunter fur on the horses there, and it has actually worked out quite nicely, I'm happy with that. And then done the whole mini with Agrax Earthshade. So now we can start making them look pretty. Okay, so I've used Games Workshop's Evil Sun's Red for the uh, sash, saddle bits, and uh, plumes, cuffs, collars, and around the edge of the saddle cloth there. And uh, with the officer, slightly different colour scheme, he has this rather snazzy black and red racing saddle, quite groovy. And I've done this one up as the uh, bugler, so he's got a red sash, though I'll be damned if I'm going to uh, fiddle about with that tiny little trumpet that comes on the sprue, not happening. Well, these boys have definitely been nicking all the uh, gold tinsel off their mum's Christmas tree, so that's the... Uh, Hats, epaulets, hatty bits, a couple of bits on the scabbard there. I tried my best to do the two single gold lines on the hats, but pff, yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. And the officer also gets a gold stripe around his uh, horse blanket there. Last but not least, Vallejo's off-white for the uh, sashes, sabre tash and scabbard attachments. And the uh, pom pom there. And exactly the same for the officer, and I've done his uh, gloves white. 
So we're done. It's getting based.